Hi, Jason here with RVMiles.com, the RV Miles podcast, and of course, the RV Miles YouTube channel. Over the last two months, the unemployment rate in the U.S. has jumped from below 4% to over 14%. And some analysts expect it to reach highs of 25% before this pandemic is over. That, along with health and safety closures, has caused devastating hits to sales of products in the majority of American businesses. But there's one surprising bright spot on the American economy, RVs. As states begin to welcome travelers again and relax stay at home orders, people are heading to their RV dealer, stimulus check in hand, ready to put down a deposit. Michael Hall RV Center in Carson City, Nevada is reporting sales up 130% from the same point last year. The owner of Guarantee RV in Eugene, Oregon told KMTR TV that he sold 52 units the first weekend in May, almost double what they normally sell in a given May weekend. Brown's RV Superstore in McBee, South Carolina, told RVBusiness.com that sales from mid-March to mid-April were virtually non-existent. They had a nine-day stretch of no sales whatsoever. That all changed in May. By the 11th, they had already sold more RVs than they'd normally do in a typical May. And the biggest dealer in the country, Camping World, beat Wall Street's first quarter earnings expectations, which led its stock price to more than triple March lows. And most of the other RV industry stocks are also on the rise, including Winnebago and Thor Industries. RV rentals are on the rise too. Peer-to-peer rental service RV Share reported an astronomical 650% increase in booking since early April. And truck sales, which are often partnered with an RV, are about even with 2019 numbers. And those that haven't lost their jobs are putting those stimulus checks to work by making big purchases. This wasn't expected to be a good year for RV sales, though. 504,000 units were sold in 2017, an all-time high. But sales slipped to 406,000 last year. And early numbers for this year were even lower than 2019. But as Americans remain fearful of air travel, cruise ships, and hotels, they're still itching to travel. They're seeing RVs as a way to bring their bed, their bathroom, and kitchen with them to travel the country. Road Trippers, the popular route planning service, says that the volume of road trips planned on roadtrippers.com the last week of April was up 107% over the last week of March, which was the pandemic-related low point. But all this news doesn't necessarily mean roads will be incredibly busy this summer. For the first time in 20 years, AAA will not issue a Memorial Day travel advisory. But last year, 43 million Americans traveled for Memorial Day weekend, the second highest travel volume on record. But this year, AAA says the holiday weekend's travel volume is likely to set a record low. So what does all this mean for you? Well, we have no indication that the number of campground nights booked will increase even as more people buy RVs, but many people are working from home and can feasibly work from the road or their place of work isn't open yet and they may be hoping to spend that stimulus money on a vacation. But campground development is still nowhere near the levels it needs to be at to meet the demand for RVs over the last few years. So this could be a very busy year for road travel, but if you're planning to head out, make sure to understand the COVID-related orders where you're traveling and respect the local community's need to keep safe. If a town is asking travelers to stay away due to limited healthcare facilities and emergency responders, stay away and remain flexible. Even as the country opens up, new camping rules and closures are beginning to be put in place in certain areas. And a second wave of the virus could have us all shut down again. Make sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell to get all the latest camping news as it pertains to the coronavirus and anything else happening this summer in the RV world. You can also find us on the RV Miles podcast on any podcast app, or you can watch the podcast right here on YouTube.